Stephen, uh, another terrific result at the weekend, 2-0 win against Clyde and uh, two goals from yourself. Um, probably uh, not going to score a lot this season, but two really important ones. Uh, did you enjoy those ones? Yeah, I loved it. Uh, love scoring goals, it's what it's all about. You know, uh, Sometimes on Saturday morning, Friday afternoon, you think about how the game's going to go and what you can try and bring to it yourself. And I can honestly say to every Falker fan, I wasn't thinking I was ever going to score a double, but yeah, really pleasing. Uh, lost my head a wee bit in the second half, tried to chase down that hat trick. Kind of once in a career for me, that. Um, but yeah, good good result and uh, yeah, nice to chip in. So up to Peterhead on Saturday, you're going to be pushing into the box trying to get another two? No, uh, I mean, I sp spoke to the boys. We've, I've played in a lot of sides that don't create a lot, a lot of chances. We create a lot of chances and um, looking for boys uh, further ahead of me to to chip in with the doubles and, and get their own goal tallies up. So, you know, it's going to be a tough game on Saturday, but we need to be more clinical in our play. Since you've come in, um, you've been a, quite a commanding and, and calming presence in that midfield, um, just kind of setting the tempo and, and setting the bar. Um, uh, you know, a lot of fans are saying, oh, Stephen McGinn's too good for us, too good for us. But how are you enjoying your football here? And you, you look to have settled in quite well. Uh, loving it, to be honest. It's everything I hoped it would be so far. Um, you know, brilliant, brilliant club, been great with me and um, the manager. I knew what I was getting when I came in here. Love and working with him, and uh, you know, right from early on in the league cup campaign, uh, along the way, we've not been perfect, but there's real signs of a good side coming together, and just enjoying it. I know, I know my strengths and weaknesses at the stage I am in my career, and, and what I can bring out of others around me, and that's all I try and bring every week. And it looks like things are starting to click. Um, there's a good result against uh, Partick Thistle as well, and in, in the cup, um, another kind of. Another result that maybe a, a lot of people would have thought that you know we wouldn't have got, um, given that they were the, the top seed in the uh, in the draw in that at that stage. Um, do you think things things are kind of starting to, to click as well? Um, obviously, um, what John and Paul are are, are bringing to the team is, is is starting to 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 pay off. Yeah, we know our, our roles in the, in the team and um, what the manager and Paul are looking for, and um, we know where we need to be when certain situations offensively and defensively um, on the part of this whole game I think the, the night of Hibs it's gave us a huge belief in, in how we can play here and, and the calibre of team we can beat when we play well out there so um, I don't want to jinx it while the home record's going uh, going so well but um, get full confidence in us doing that every time we play here and um, what we do need to do is bring more of that on the road, um, be more free-flowing and probably won't create as many chances as we do at home, away from home. So, as I, as I touched on earlier, be more clinical when the chances come, um, put them away and and start to build, put a, a run together for ourselves. And, and speaking of away games, we've got uh, quite a few tough away games this month. It's a packed, um, packed schedule this month, six games, three of them away to the furthest away teams in the league. Is that something that is on your mind or are you just taking it one game at a time? Now, when you're trying to be successful in a league, um, the away games do bring up different challenges. Peter Heads, obviously, being uh, the, the furthest away game, and um, we know last time that if we hadn't got that Ryan Williamson goal just before half time, what a tricky um, afternoon it could have turned into. So, we know the threats that Peter Head bring and uh, the challenges that an away game like that brings. But that is the, the part. It's all part of having a successful season going to places around the country and finding ways to win and um, adding to our good performances at home. And uh, results elsewhere uh, over the last week have kind of gone our, our way as well. Um, just just a few points off the top now. Um, is that something that uh, is playing on your minds as well? It's, it's, it's a very tight league and uh, one win you could be could be right up there. Yeah, we felt going into the weekend that um, a win would put us into the top four. I think we've dropped out it now with other games being played. Um, but all we can control, I know it's the big, the biggest cliche ever, but all we can control is ourselves. You know, um, you get in, you look at certain results. It's still that stage of season where you don't really know who you want to win certain games, so there's no point really looking at it. But you do look elsewhere, and I think you get there's warning signs of when you're not at it for the full 95 minutes that um, you can you can drop points. And just lastly, going up, uh, going up north to Peterhead this Saturday, almost a, a kind of full complement um, of players going up as well, um, with quite a few coming back from injury. Um, how important is it to have that kind of strength and depth? And you, you've got players now who are um, kind of fighting to get back in the team, um, which will probably be hard given how well the, the team are playing. But how good is it to see that that competition there? 
it's vital, you know, it's vital. Um, we can't, no team can win win uh, leagues and get promotions without um, with eleven players. It's impossible. Um, so we need everyone to chip in, and and I suppose it keeps us all on our toes. Um, when you see the even the triple sub we make last week, you see we, we have got real strength and depth in, in now, and it's a it's a positive sign. And uh, as you say, you don't want to jinx it. You don't want to encourage injuries and suspensions, but. Um, while we've got it, we need to make use of it. All right, Stephen, thank you for your, your time and uh, good luck for the game on Saturday. Cheers. Thank you.